O. One message received from Marina. I got a message from Marina. Subject: Everyone's reactions. Hey, uh, I'm on my way back from work, but I thought I'd text you. Today was really fun at school. Everyone has no idea we are going out yet. I just know. Yeah, even Genki didn't catch on to anything, or it was kind of exciting. It was kind of exciting. We legit woke up in the same room this morning. Not even a month ago, I couldn't have even imagined this happening. I sent off my reply as I remember how Rina looked when she was asleep. I guess she looked so peaceful because of all the stress from work that day, but it was super cute regardless. To be honest, I'm a little surprised myself. I've been aware of my feelings for you for a while now, but the fact that we are dating and that you are doing so much for me, I never could have imagined it. I'll give you everything you want or, to be honest, I was just as surprised. I'll give you everything you want. I am your boyfriend now. Typing that out myself does feel a little embarrassing. I'm legitimately her boyfriend right now. Life really is full of surprises, that's for sure. Y yeah, thanks. At this rate, I think I'm going to end up falling even more in love with you. So sorry about that. I'm sure you already know this, but I can be pretty high maintenance. I was thinking about you the whole time I was at work. Shit, I'm so happy. I'm exchanging lovey-dovey texts with the best girlfriend ever. I feel like I can tell how Adina's feeling through the text message. For a while, I just sit here and read it over and over again. We've entered summer vacation, meaning no school for a while. Adina and I are both off work today, which means we're finally getting to go on a date. It's 11 a.m. Just as I was starting to wonder where she was, I got a text from her. I'll be there in 10 minutes, I'm still choosing my outfit. Oh! Now that's something that'll get me excited. Everyone knows that girls can take their time getting ready. To be honest, I want to see her ASAP, but at the same time, I'm kind of happy I'm being made to wait. 15 minutes pass. Hurry up! Hurry up! Fortunately, there's no one else around to see me stamp my feet as I wait. I've already been over the date plan and now that I have nothing to do, I can't settle down. Wait, hold on. Better do a final check. I take out the portable mirror I bought at the 100 yen store. Okay, great. No nose hairs are poking out. Blocked them all last night, so now my nostrils feel empty. Initially, I tried cutting them with kitchen scissors, but after almost killing myself, I decided to pluck them instead. Girls have a shit ton to do when it comes to beauty, but there's a lot of stuff guys gotta do before a date too. Is she coming? It's been 20 minutes now. Waiting itself isn't all that bad, but goddammit, I want to hear her voice so bad. Hurry up! Hurry up! Uh, oh, it was nothing. You can hear the bashfulness in her voice. Obviously, she wants me to tell her she's cute. Even I can figure out that much. I can, and yet. Ah, I'm so stupid! I almost said she was cute totally by reflex. It's already beyond obvious that she's cute, damn it! What am I doing? I gotta change up my compliments once in a while. Uh, uh. Uh, you look cute uh, and handsome. You're handsome cute. But yeah, honestly, there's no way in hell I could find any faults with your fashion sense. I'm sure you know that too. So I'm just gonna give you my honest impressions, if that's alright. Uh, uh. You really are cute and have great fashion sense. I can tell why all the other girls at school want to be like you. So, so? Yeah. Plus, you dressed up for me, yeah? And I get you all to myself today. I couldn't be a happier man. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> just look at the smile on your face. 
Right then, are you ready? I'm ready to have all sorts of fun today. Oh, of course. She begs me, smiling innocently and clinging to my arm. Naturally, I can feel her massive tits pressing up against my arm. Fuck, fuck, fuck. She's pressing herself against me and giving me that smile that should be a damn red card. And to make matters worse, she smells hella good. Yeah, you betcha. I've got everything figured out. Arina flashes me an unbeatable smile. With that, our date begins. Hold on a sec, I'm sure the event was around here. I take out my phone and check again. Err, uh, there's a big gathering of entertainers from all over the country that happens during the summer on Marie Claire Street. Oh, that's it. I'm so glad I was born. I'm overcome by deep emotions as I look at Darina cheerfully standing next to me and realize all my dreams have come true. Marie Claire Street is often nicknamed Normie Street on account of how many students come here on dates. Clowns appear before us, juggling, miming and doing balloon art. Whoa, people are looking at Helena even with everything that's going on. Beside me, she's as cheerful as she always is. The other attendees, both male and female, keep on glancing over at her, both. Fuck, I'm so happy I could cry. It was nice knowing you, unpopular me. Oh no, just feeling a little emotional. That's, uh, uh, not really it. Just that getting to come here on a date with my beautiful girlfriend. It makes me so happy that my heart started to ache. Alina squeezes down on my arm as she holds it. It seems that my girlfriend is a fan of being touchy. And being able to see that smiling face of hers that I never get to see at school is a priceless treasure to me. Yeah, though I think it's already the best. The beast resting inside my pants is already ready for war. Many apologies, Serena, but men's minds are always focused on sex. <laughs> we will be entering that shop right there. Be amazed. Yeah, I figured you'd like something like that. I have a girlfriend who loves fashion, so I picked it with the idea that it would be some place she might go to normally on her own. From what I can tell, it has a lot of female customers, so I'm pretty confident that I made the right call. What do you think? Or do you want to go somewhere else? Very true. All right then, follow me. My girlfriend smiles the entire time as she clings to my arm. We step inside the boutique in front of us. Oh! Wow, Upon entering the store, I'm hit by an even more high-class atmosphere than I expected, leaving me tense. Unlike those dodgy second-hand stores that always seem to be having liquidation sales, this place isn't bustling with students on their way home from school. Holy cow, they even have bags and accessories. One showcase especially stands out. Apparently all the items inside are brand products. What? One bag is 200,000 yen? How horrifying. That'd be four fucking months worth of my pay. <laughs> Y yeah, F 50,000 yen, that's as much as I can afford today. 
I withdrew some money from the bank, so you don't need to worry. So, you need worry about money. It is no exaggeration to say that I've been working my part-time job for this very day. <laughs> Fortunately, I get some unexpected words of encouragement. Hehe, <laughs> as one of the few guys in this place, this is my time to shine. Sorry, Irina, but I'm not about to step down. No, that would defeat the point in coming here. You gotta understand me here. I've always dreamed of buying a present for my girlfriend. It's all for the girl I love. Is there something wrong with using my money for that? Oh ho ho! Too bad, Terina. I'm doting on you today. I wouldn't regret spending my entire life savings today if it was for you. Yeah, sure, feel free. Given that she just said that, I bet she has something in mind already. And it'll probably be something cheap out of consideration for my wallet. <laughs> You're too good for this world, Rina. I swear, I swear I'll make you happy for your entire life. I love you. I glance over at Harina, checking out all the clothes in the store before looking at the price tag on the item in front of me. What? This one piece alone is almost 20,000 yen? I looked at a bunch of other things too, but there's nothing below 10,000 yen. I'm starting to break out in a cold sweat here, like I'm really starting to regret choosing this place. I, I was prepared, but ugh, this shit is expensive. Just for comparison, you can get a whole outfit for a guy for under 3,000 yen if you're going for the cheap stuff, yeah. What she's showing me isn't any piece of clothing, but a stylish mug. She picked it up from the place where all this shop's original brand items are. Huh, you don't want clothes? Ah, uh, I have such a kind girlfriend. D -d 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 -d. <laughs> you don't have to be considerate of me, okay? At least pick something that's 10,000 yen! Well, maybe not, but... Hey, wait! Arina carries the mug over to the counter and pays for it. The shop assistant even gift wraps it for her. Then she says something to the shop assistant and comes back over. Um, if you buy it yourself, I can't give it to you as a present. Huh? What do you mean? これ私からのプレゼント。Huh? Yeah. I agree with Arina's proposal and take a white mug over to the register. お会計2000円になります。Oh, here. <laughs> Uh, of course. The shop assistant calmly gift wraps the mug, hands it over, and then I return to Arena. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here. <laughs> Arena smiles delightfully and presses the mug to her chest when I hand it to her. Her face perfectly sums up her gratitude. She really must be pleased. I don't think a mug should bring anyone that much joy. <laughs> T true I'm so glad I became Marina's boyfriend. Her beaming face shoots me right through the heart. It makes me want to cherish her even more, and not just because the shop assistant told me to. Embarrassment grips the both of us, so I take Karina by the hand and leave the store. After that, we decided to get lunch at an open-air cafe and talk about what to do next while there. 
Screw the plan. Is there anywhere you want to go, Rina? No, it's fine. I want to go where you want to, Rina. Apparently, she's got a place in mind, so I agree to follow her. Huh? Here? We arrived at the arcade in front of the station, a place I've been too many times before. I know Rina likes rhythm games, but I can't say I honestly expected her to want to come here on a date. Haha, <laughs> just said to play the rhythm game, sir. You really do love those. Rina drags me by the hand to the photo booth corner. There's an unwritten rule amongst men that photo booths are not to be entered unless with a girl. I, I guess, but I've never used one of these before. Arina then drags me into the photo booth. No, not at all. I would love to. She then starts up the photo booth. We begin by taking one with our arms linked, both of us flashing peace signs. I start out nervous due to it being my first time, but I gradually get used to it and even start having some fun. What are we gonna do? Hmm? Okay then. The countdown starts. Hey! Mm. She suddenly grabs my face, pulls it towards her and plans a surprise kiss on me. It's the perfect couple's photo. Wha- Hey! My heart's racing so much, this is bad for my health. I'd been wondering what she was planning when she told me to stay put, but I never thought she was gonna kiss me. To be honest, that assertive move on her part might have left her heart beating faster than mine. Still half in a day, Serena takes me over to where we ride on them. For my first photo booth time, this is a hell of a lot of fun. Oh, these stamps are cool as heck. Oh, this is legit! I look super hot! Whoa, you can make the pupils so big, that's freaky as hell. Why didn't you say that earlier? All the playing around stops and we get serious as we scribble cheesy love phrases over our photos. Ah, why do we have to rush this? We manage to finish writing on our photos with just 10 seconds to spare. Photos, booths are pretty fun, I gotta say. Yeah, let's come here again when we get the chance. Since the writing corner is hidden from view, I decide to get even with Rina and land a surprise kiss on her. Just a little payback for earlier. Uh, oh, sorry. My surprise attack ended up backfiring. We leave the writing corner and collect our freshly printed photos from the machine. Oh, these came out really well. We head to a nearby table with scissors on it and Harina cleanly cuts the photos into separate halves. <laughs> Yeah, me too. With the photos done, we wander around the arcade and play a bunch of different games. I wanted to play more, but since it's getting dark out, we decide to leave the arcade. 